Mira. <laughs> Why does everything look so white? Webcam. The absolute audacity. What's up, my boys, and welcome to the 87 rated winter refresh League and SBC option reward number two. Uh, that is going to be today's episode. But before we get all that started, I do want to apologize. I know I've only had one upload in the past four days. I've been in Argentina, and then now that the embargo is lifted, I can talk a little bit more about what I was doing there. Uh, I was in Buenos Aires, um, capturing some content for the Copa Libertadores. We're going to have some of that on stream today as well. I'm going to include some of that in videos over the course of the next couple days. Uh, but essentially, I was there. Like like I said, to get some information and uh, be able to relay some stuff back to you guys in terms of what Copa Libertadores getting that license means for Ultimate Team. There's going to be a new mode. Uh, it's going to be injected into career mode. And then more importantly for our channel, for you guys, most of you guys that watch, 95% of you guys that watch are here for Ultimate Team. And I can confirm that there will be men of the matches and there will be special campaigns for Copa Libertadores players. So that's, it's not just going to be uh, man of the matches. There's going to be other stuff. Uh, so different card types um, and then different campaigns for, uh, for, um, for uh for copa libertadores uh sud america as well as the recopa so um gonna be very interesting to see how that all rolls out wasn't a whole lot of ultimate team information there was mostly career mode and kickoff uh but uh hope to get you guys a little bit more information in terms of what it means for us on ultimate team as well so it was very very fun and uh i got sick i got sick i had a bife de chorizo had some of the best food i ever had and buenos aires was just absolutely absolutely beautiful but today we are going from argentina and we're hopping on over to france to look at this willen Cyprian card, uh, who everyone in the community is dubbing the, I suppose, cheap hullet, but given the price of the, uh, the Liga on SPC right now, which I think I did this for about 350, 400,000 coins, uh, isn't the most, uh, isn't the most affordable card, but again, you do have to counteract that with the fact that you do get a whole lot of value back in packs, so the value of this is going to be an interesting one to see. You can complete it for 350k and get anywhere upwards, you know, you can get 200k worth of pack value back from those packs, so, um, going to be very interested to see, more importantly, though, how he performs in game so if you guys are excited that, vi that the videos are back we got a new promotion coming tomorrow we don't know what exactly what's going to be we'll postulate some uh theories in this episode if you guys are excited that videos are back you guys have requested this cyprian if you guys are excited for this epi drop a mad lad like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below so 87 Cyprian, like I said, it is the uh, it is the third option the, for the winter refresh version of the League and SBC. Uh, medium, medium work rates, 5'11", 4-star skill moves, 3-star weak foot, and right off the bat, we can kind of drop the true Rude Hullet comparisons because he's a 5-star, 4-star, he's 6'3", Cyprian's 5'11", so totally different type of player, but uh, in FIFA lore, any guy that has 80 rated stats in every of the 6 key categories is dubbed and named uh, a Hullet of sorts. So, uh, he does have more total in-game stats than the 86 Rude Hullet, it, and he has 70 total in game stats less than the 90 which is kind of incredible considering that he's 87 um and uh that that's pretty much where the comparisons and cyprian has better defensive stats i should say 85 versus rude hullet's 80 so rude hullet barely etches in in terms of 80 but then when it comes to attacking stats you know you guys know rude hullet has the triple 88 so we're going to go look in the stats right here. 82 acceleration, 84 sprint speed. Attacking positioning right off the bat is a little bit meh. Finishing is pretty decent for a mid. Really nice shot power, really good long shots, penalties, volleys, kind of meh. Um, and that's kind of the theme of this card. There's no real stat. As a matter of fact, there's no stat in... in in fact, that's above 90 rated, and that's kind of really reflective of how he's like a club 80 player. He's got a couple 87s, he's got a couple 88s, but there's nothing really top end level. He's just a super, super balanced card with really good defensive stats, 87 interceptions, 85 defensive awareness, 88 standing tackle, uh, 79 slide tackle. So I feel like maybe even an anchor would be really, really good on him, but he looks like he looks to be one of the best box to box in game, and it's really the physical stats that pop off the most. He's got the 86 jumping, the 87 stamina, the 84 strength, and 86 aggression, which we've got in Jack off with the marksman chem style he has 90 finishing he has 82 attacking positioning and then he's got that uh plus 90 plus 90 long shot and shot power with the marksman chem style and we've gone ahead got that agility over 90 as well got the ball control over 90 and then the dribbling over 90 as well so we're gonna be playing him at a ram position i know he's kind of wasted there with his defensive stats but we're gonna see if he can get some defensive stuff done there we got we some we've got that uh we've got that um benzema we've got valbuena of course we're gonna have to link the two of them i don't know why they don't get a green link <laughs> Let's get to match number one of Wieland Cyprian. Match number one, Ales. <laughs> Here we go, Sip. Oh, 
Nice ball control. Wissam Ben Yedder! Hey, Wissam Ben Yedder celebrating with Cyprian, and Wissam Ben Yedder just doing what Wissam Ben Yedder does. <laughs> Come on, dude. How does he get in front of that? I don't know why I ever doubted this is a Ben Yedder card. Only one outcome. Rage quit. My first thoughts on Cyprian on that match, like, he doesn't have top-end anything. He's just a very, and I think that's what we were kind of expecting, he's just a very balanced card. And dare I say it, I wonder, I never really say this about a card, but a, a card that does have attacking stats, I wonder if he's better really placed as a CDM. Is it messed up that I don't have Kante in here? Do you think his feelings are hurt? Do you think his feelings are hurt? Is it messed up that I don't have Kante in here? Cyprian, come on, bro. Come on, bro. 1-1. One, one. Absolute freaking mad lad. We didn't celebrate in the first goal of the game, so we're going to have to do it here. We're going to do the Wala Liga New Eats robot dance. I don't think we're utilizing the best of his ability. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to have him play as a CDM. This is this never happened. Just an absolutely filthy card. Wissam Ben Yedder, an absolutely filthy, filthy looking card. One's in the chat if you guys did that SPC. He's a joke. He's an absolute joke. We got the player of the month. We've got the player of the month Neymar out, but all I really wish was that maybe we got that. We got a second chance at a player of the month Wissam Ben Yedder card. Bro, he is legitimately a game-changing card. There we go, Cyprian! That's what he's got! That's what the mad lad Wylan Cyprian, I'm not 100% sure how to say the name, but Wylan Cyprian, Wylan Cyprian, aka Walla, Walla Cyprian, goes ahead and he scoops himself a nice little goal. Nice little finesse from outside the box, bottom corner. Nice little finish from the Mad Lad himself. Here we go, Sip. That would have been, that would have been next level. Is that Cyprian? He's a no-nonsense type player. He's not gonna do anything incredibly. And again, why do I look so crazy white? He's not gonna do anything uh, specifically really, really crazy. He just does a nice blend of everything. He's very, he's a balanced card. That's the only way I can describe him. Ricardo Kaká, espera Callejón al lado. Ahí está Kaká. Es esférico. No. You can tell me that he's not going to finish that, but you can't tell me that Benzema is not fast enough. Go on, lad. There we go, Benzo. I don't want anyone to tell me that Benzema is not worth it, dude. You get him in the box, he makes it. Outside of the time that he missed it in the last game. Damn it. Muy buena recuperación de pelota, buena entrada. There we go, boys. That's how it's done. That's how you get a goal. That's how you get a meaningful goal in FIFA, boys. 
Luka Jovic. Aplausos, señores. Brillante asistencia de tan solo. Jovic. ¡Gol! Muy bien en la línea de pase para quitarlo. So we've got, we've got a few games played with Cyprian, and if I'm being honest with you, for the amount of hype that I expected from him in going into this episodia, I expected him to be an incredible, incredible card, and uh, there were some moments where defensively he was a little bit transparent, and what I mean by that is his defender was able to get through me, which didn't make sense because he's got ridiculous stats. Maybe it's, I mean, this, it can't be the sliding tackle. He's got 87 interceptions, 85 defensive awareness, 85 standing tackle, um, and uh, I don't know. There was just, there seemed, for the stats, there just seemed to be something missing, and I can't can't pinpoint what it was. Maybe it's the fact that he doesn't have high level acceleration, but like Renato Sanchez Wells works well for me. And like, he's very much in that mold. Uh, doesn't have the three, uh, four star weak foot, which is crushing for me. I like the fact that he has four star skill moves, but uh, for whatever reason, the card didn't really pop off the way I expected. I expected it to play like close to, I mean, really, I've, I expected him to play like a Tesco Hullet, and he just didn't end up doing it. So, um, again, it's just through my lens. For some of you guys that try out this card, he might be very, very good. But for whatever reason, he just didn't seem to live up to the hype of uh, of the cheap Hullet. So, uh, for that reason, I am going to give the uh, I'm going to give the value of the SBC uh, pretty decent because the price of the SBC hasn't gone up too much, um, and you still get a uh, you still get a fair bit of pack value back, and you get yourselves an 87 Cyprion, which maybe in a different formation, maybe in a different uh, with a different chem style, he could work for you. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five in terms of value. Now, where it comes into the disappointing aspect of it, uh, I am going to give it a three out of five in terms of on the pitch performance. You guys saw that he is a goal scorer. He's able to score goals. Um, is pretty slippery, but... Um just uh, just lacks that little bit of something that makes me want to truly declare him a cheap hullet. Now, maybe I'm off my head. Maybe I just had a bad day of FIFA. You guys let me know in the comments. But uh, again, w did better defensively uh, than he did offensively. Obviously, he scored us two goals and I believe it was like either three or, uh, three or four matches um, and is a very good box-to-box -box mid. But for whatever reason, just wasn't able to just wasn't able to pop off the pitch. Maybe it's the attacking positioning. Maybe it's the 78 attacking positioning in terms of the lack clusterness that I felt in terms of attacking and then I don't know I don't know how to explain what it is defensively again the only thing I could think of is acceleration but he did not feel like uh the cheap Conte he doesn't have that like rapid turning even though he's got like 88 agility so I don't know maybe Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it's his player model. There's this theory, or there's this uh, there's this line of thinking that some uh, some players have certain player models, which which uh, impact the way that their stats feel on the pitch. And I feel like maybe Cyprian's just one of those guys. So I don't know. I'm not gonna call him the cheap Hullet. He was he was very good, but he wasn't like very 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 good. I was expecting an absolutely broken card, and I don't think that the Cyprian is uh, is broken. But uh, we do have a new German Bundesliga um, winter refresh third option in the form of that Lainer. I'm thinking about doing an episode on him you guys let me know if you guys want to see that in the comment section below but uh hopefully this epi has shown you in some way shape or form maybe has given you some insight as to what to expect from this 87 uh voila cyprian but was very very excited still think it's a very very good card but i don't think it's the uh the cheap hullet that at least i was expecting so that is gonna do it for the epi boys hopefully you guys have enjoyed if you did drop a like on the video if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below i will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow till next time my bros choose later a day.